in this burnout extra i'm going to show you how to change your oil in a 2000 jeep cherokee this will apply for all years between 97 and 2001 however if you follow these steps chances are you can find it if you have a different year cherokee as well regardless i'm going to show you how to change the oil and filter in this car and if your jeep is lifted then you won't even need a lift you could just do this in the driveway so like I said, we're gonna change the oil, the oil filter, and follow along in this video. I'll show you step-by-step step how to do just that. So the first step of changing the oil in your Jeep will be jacking up the car, getting it on ramps, or somehow getting it off the ground. If your Jeep's lifted, like I may have said before, you don't even have to lift it up. But thankfully, we have the lift today. Once your car is up in the air in some way, shape, or form, you're going to want to loosen that drain plug bolt for the oil. So get a catch pan or um, even just a Bunsen burner pan, maybe if you're at home, to catch all of the oil in, and then once again, loosen that plug. So I'm gonna show you right where that plug is now and grab a pan as well. So the drain plug itself is located at the bottom of the oil pan. It should be pretty obvious where it is, and that will be a 16 millimeter. This is a 2000 Jeep Cherokee, so it's probably the same size for a 97 to an 01. However, if you're working on a different car, then maybe it's a different size. This one here is a 16 millimeter. You're gonna to wanna to get a wrench right on that and then loosen that up. Now, as I mentioned, be sure to have a pan as well. So we have this catch pan here that we'll put under it. And then one thing I definitely want to mention is to double up on wrenches maybe for some leverage. So when you have the circle side of the wrench on the bolt itself, you can then put a second wrench on the end of that. And once again, that's better leverage when loosening. You're gonna only want to do this double wrench setup when loosening the bolt, but if you pull that and loosen it this way, it will give you more leverage, easily um, call it crack it open, and then allow you to pull out the plug. Just make sure your drain pan is underneath. Oh. So right now is a good time to let your oil drain. Um, I refrain from dropping the plug in the pan. If you can keep that out of the pan, that's probably a good sign. And then from here, while this is draining, you want to move on to removing the oil filter. Sometimes you'll need a filter wrench. Sometimes you can just turn it off by hand. Um, and you're also gonna want this pan under that filter as well because there is more oil in the filter. So make sure you locate the filter. Once this is done draining, move the pan over. And then whether you need an oil filter wrench, you can get it off by hand or maybe some other trick. You're gonna to wanna to do that next. After you've drained the oil in the pan itself, you're gonna to wanna to put the plug back in and then tighten that up. That should be a little more than snug. Don't over tighten that because most of the time it will strip. So with that 16 millimeter wrench, just get it the best you can. Once again, don't use your full strength because that's when it will break and you don't want that to strip because your oil will leak. Right now, I have the pan underneath the oil filter, which is located just above the starter on the passenger side of the engine. You can see that it's right here. To sideways filter. So what I'm gonna do is try and loosen that by hand and um, as I mentioned there's oil in that as well so it will drain down into this pan. So that will be the next step is removing that. Okay right now I'm trying to filter wrench because I couldn't get my hands to loosen it. Wow. That's on there good. What you're gonna want to do is loosen it a few turns but just enough so that it will start draining, but you don't have to have your arm in there because then it will just drip down your arm. So loosen it and then eventually you'll see the oil come out. I should be almost at that spot. So you can see it's starting to drain out now. What I'm gonna do is loosen it a little more. So it gets a good, good drain going. What I'll do is leave it threaded on for a second just to have it drip down. And then eventually it will thread all the way off. Once again, there's still oil inside the filter, so I'll be careful. There it is right there. You can see the oil that's coming out now is from the filter, inside the filter. I definitely did, from, did this from the top, I feel like. Now it's time to put in your oil filter. What I like to do is mark the date and the mileage, the current date and current mileage on the oil filter itself. So I like to write it on the top of the oil filter. That way the next person who changes the oil filter knows when it was last changed. Because not every person 
actually changes their oil filter with every oil change. So once you have this oil filter tight and in the spot, it can just be hand tight. But once that's in and the drain plug is all set, you're good to lower down the car and then add oil. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So for a 4.0 inline six engine, you're going to want to use six quarts of oil. And the oil type that we're using is five weight 30. That's what's recommended. So I'm going to pour in six quarts right now. And then um, from there, I will then check it on the dipstick after running the car for about 15 seconds. After you've added six quarts of oil, you should be all good to go. Just remember to tighten that oil cap down tight and you are ready to start the car for probably about 10, 15 seconds. Then it's recommended that you check the oil on the dipstick tube, which is right over here. So that's gonna be all for this video on a 2000 Jeep Cherokee oil change. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to like the video if this helped you out and definitely subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. We have tons of videos coming out about this Jeep soon. So be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and hopefully this helped.